Hello everyone, I Sharmishtha Mitra, currently an intern at Embedded Information Technologies. I am doing this internship based on Embedded System. And during this internship, we have built a project based on MPLAB XIDE, simulated on the software named PiximLab. We worked on the project that is Microwave Oven Simulation. This project is built in a group of three members, I, Sharmishtha Mitra, Ayush Prakash and Atharva Deshmukh. The contents of this topic is what is microwave oven, what are the requirements of it, what is microcontroller and microprocessor, what is PIXIM lab, CLCD, matrix keypad, ISR, timers and at the last we will do the project implementation. The topics that we learned during the internship was the introduction to the C language, arrays and pointers, functional strings, storage classes, conditional loops and operations, introduction to embedded system and microcontrollers. We have also learned about how to use MPLAB XIDE, how to compile with the help of XCD8 and how to simulate on PIXIMLAB. Introduction to various peripherals of 16F877A microcontroller. We have attended various quizzes session and also attended the Shah workshop, which has ultimately helped us to complete this project. The requirements of the project is MPLAB XIDE software, XC8 compiler and PIXIMLAB software. So uh, coming towards what is microwave oven. So basically the microwave oven is a device that is used to heat food using micro electromagnetic waves. So basically uh, we have built it three modes that is micro mode, grill mode and convection mode. And fourth we have used a start button to start the microwave. To move ahead with uh, first micro mode, this mode is used to cook the food in traditional manner and in the project we have built the maximum power as 900 watts. The grill mode, this mode is used to cook uh, bread and meat. Uh, the user can set the time accordingly. Also the convection mode, in this mode user can set the oven to preheat for a particular temperature and it takes up to three minutes to preheat the oven. User can also set the time accordingly in this mode too. So uh, difference between microcontroller and microprocessor. A microcontroller is designed to do a specific task and whereas a microprocessor can be designed to do all the different tasks by arranging the components. This is uh, the Pixim Lab Pic 16F877A architecture. So, coming towards what is CLCD? CLCD is character liquid crystal display. It is the screen to display the results. What is matrix keypad? It is the number of textile switches are connected in a row and column. ISR is a software routine that hardware invokes in response to interrupt. Interrupts are important which will help us to run the program. It will simply offer interrupt in the required interval so that our program will run properly. Timer is an important application in any embedded system which is a default peripheral which maintains the timing of an operation in the sync with a system clock or an external clock. In this project, we have used 4-bit timer. Let's discuss the output of the project. I have attached some screenshot. So this is the power on screen. So as soon as we load the hex file, this screen will be displayed. So these are the four modes that will be displayed in the project. This is the micro mode and as I told you earlier that we have set the maximum power timer at 4 
900 watts. This is the grill mode. We can set the timer accordingly. And this is the convection mode. After setting the timer, it will give us the option to start, pause and stop. Also, uh, this screen will appear as soon as we press RB3 button that is present here. As soon as we press this button, the screen will appear. Thank you. This was all about the project. Now moving towards the actual simulation, we will do the simulation and we will see the code in MPLAB. So this is the code which was written by three of the members that is Sharmishta Mitra, Ayush Prakash and Atharva Deshmukh. So first of all, uh, we have included all the libraries which is required. Then we have provided all the types of the variable initialization. You can see it here. We have provided all the variable initialization and we have initialized the modules that is required. Here we are using the while loop to mention the project with specified different condition. So for example, if we press key one, uh, then what it should display, it is mentioned over here. If we press key two, what it will show, it will be displayed over here. Uh, so for all we have written it also we are using switch case to determine uh, determine all the conditions all the cooking modes in it we also declared all the functions that is required in the main file now coming towards the end so everything is mentioned uh, in a while loop so that our code will run continuously. Coming towards the main file, we have included all the prototypes and all the modules that is required. Now let's build the project and see what's the output. So as you can see, the build is successful. Now let's see the simulation in Pixim Lab. I will load the hex file. So as soon as I load the hex file, the power on microwave oven screen will display. This is known as CLCD display. Here is the fan as soon as we switch on the any mode. So here four modes are displayed. As soon as we switch on any mode, the cooler or the fan will run. So we will, uh, we can choose any button, any uh, anything, and it will display the output. So buzzer is here. That's why it was not working. As soon as we press the buzzer here, it will start working. So as you can see, uh, I have first chosen the convection mode. So here I am getting the option to enter the temperature. I will enter the temperature, set the temperature. You can give any number. You can clear with the help of star and enter with the help of enter. So preheating time we have given 180 seconds that is set while written, written, writing the code it was set to 3 minutes so it is it will go on. So you can reset it from here. You can do the reset if you have by mistakenly pressing press the preheating mode you can reset it from here and again the power on screen will be generated and you can give the command.
if you uh, would like to press any button that is micro mode or any mode you have to press rb4 button and then you will get all the four options here you can choose any button that will generate the code so this was all about the microwave that we have generated I would like to thank Emetic Technologies for giving us the opportunities to build such project in such a short span of time. They have given us all the feedbacks how to build the project and taught us how to how not to build the project. Thank you so much Emetic Technologies.